Hey everyone. Okay, welcome to the world's jankiest, shortest, quickest update video because I did not realize that people were actually watching my video and now I'm seeing all these comments of people wanting me to update them and I feel awful that I have not updated anyone yet. My life kind of imploded, you'll have to forgive me, but now I am ready to hopefully start uploading more videos and talking about exactly what I went through. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna give you a quick update on where I am in treatment and what's been happening and all that good stuff. So to begin, I had surgery, which I believed I talked about in the last video. I had a lumpectomy um, September 29th. I recovered from that. I got my Oncotype score back and I got a score of 14, which is kind of in the gray area. My doctors recommended chemo, mostly based on the fact that I um, do not have like, because I'm so young, basically. They said that you're really young, we don't have a lot of data on people in your age group, and you know, you had um, micrometastatic disease. Although it was contained only to the one lymph node and had not traveled outside of it, I still had those two tiny little cancer cells in there. So they recommended me chemo. Um, I made a super personal decision to not do chemo. I can make an entire video about this because it's way too long to just put in an update, but I felt like it was truly best for me, my quality of life, my goals, and, and just weighing the pros and cons of it, I decided to not go ahead with chemo. So I moved straight into radiation. I had 22 rounds of radiation. I went every single day, Monday through Friday, um, and got radiation to my left breast and up a little bit into my underarm area because of the lymph nodes that were affected right there. Um, it was relatively painless. It was really annoying having to lay like this after surgery and not having much range of motion. Um, but other than that, it was okay. I had skin changes. I was really fatigued in the beginning, eating a lot of protein and drinking a lot of water and walking every day really helped me not feel so tired by the end of it. I think I was the most tired from the commute <laughs> to get to where I was being treated. So other than that, it was okay. I felt like it was something that I had to do, obviously, because I did not have chemo and I didn't get a mastectomy. So radiation was always definitely going to happen for me. And I, I was okay with it. I felt like it was um, pretty easy to get through. Granted, I had not gone through chemo beforehand. I know for people who do go through chemo and then have radiation, it can just really knock you out. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt if you yourself are going through something like this. Um, that's just my experience with radiation. Um, after radiation, I finished on December 30th. It was a wonderful day. I was very excited to be done and I got to come back home and live in my apartment again. And now I am doing hormone therapy. And this part of treatment is going to last for the next at least five years. So my specific treatment is every month I'm going to go get a shot and it's called Zolodex. I've already had one. And basically I can show you, they inject a like pill basically into my abdomen, like right around in that area. It goes into the fat layer and over the month it kind of releases in like a gradual way. That's what my nurse told me. Um, it takes a couple shots for it to really build up into your system, but this shot is suppressing my ovaries. It is trying to get all of the estrogen and um, other hormones out of my body because my tumor specifically fed on estrogen and progesterone. So that means, someone outside, that means that um, basically my tumor ate that and it grew from that. So we don't want any of that in my body. So I have the monthly shot, Zolodex, and then I'm taking a pill every single day. It's an aromatase inhibitor. I'm specifically taking something called XMS stain, and this is also getting rid of any estrogen in my body. I'm chemically inducing early menopause is, is the goal here. So that way I can hopefully not have a recurrence. Um, and I'll be doing that for the next five years. So far, knock on wood, I don't have really any side effects. Um, I maybe have been having some hot flashes, but they're not terrible yet. Um, the injection site was really painful after the shot. Um, it's a really big needle, but really not that painful. Pro tip, if you have to do something like this, if you have to get um, a Zolodex shot, ice your stomach beforehand or ask for a bag of ice and ice it because it numbs the area and it makes the shot, I think, a lot more bearable. But yeah, I had some soreness for like a week or two afterwards in that um, spot. And what else? Maybe some insomnia, but nothing I'm not used to just from my life. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I hope that I can stay on this regimen of treatment because it's the most aggressive. 
Um, hopefully my body can tolerate it. Um, I can upload again a whole other video specifically around hormone therapy and like the side effects and what most people experience, but this is just my personal experience right now. Um, I had some cording, that was another update. I had some cording after radiation where basically I just, I lost range of motion like completely over the span of like two days. Suddenly I could not raise my arm, I couldn't like move it. Obviously, as you can see now, it's back. Like I'm able to move it pretty freely without pain or anything. But that was really bizarre and I'm supposed to go get physical therapy for it, but mine just like got better. Don't know how, don't know why. Um, I mean, I stretched it more often. So if you're going through this, make sure that you do your stretches even after surgery, all through radiation, after radiation, do your stretches because you do not want cording. It is very, very, very painful. But I was lucky that after some few days of stretching, my range of motion came back and the pain isn't really there anymore. Um, I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. Again, this is just a super quick update video. I think that's it. Um, thank you so, so much for caring about me and my journey and wanting, you know, updates. I'm, again, so sorry that I didn't post anything. I did not expect anyone to watch that, but I will be sure to get some actual proper equipment to be able to upload some more videos now. Um... But yeah, thank you so much. If you wanna follow me, um, Instagram is a good place. My blog is the best place for anything like breast cancer and just kind of life in general related. Um, yeah, it's momentswithmadison.com. If you want to subscribe here, I promise I will be <laughs> uploading more. I'm gonna go reply to some comments and answer some specific questions. If you have specific questions, please leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, but I think that's it. Thank you. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.